Welcome to Risk Forever channel guys. To the channel which shares the most relevant tips and tricks on how to win at risk, and improve your rank in no time. Subscribe to the channel and you won't even see how fast you will become so much better at risk. Push that notification bell to see new videos first. This is your host champion ever. And in one of my recent videos I asked you which map do you want to see next. I've got a lot of map suggestions and even 90 of the comments in the total. That is very amazing, I'm so grateful guys. Together we set a new record and made it the most commented risk for ever video ever. I read all of them, counted all of the votes, and differently than the last time, we had a clear map winner this time, which is Rivertown Advanced Map. Special thanks go to all of the people who suggested it. Anyway, let's get back to the game. This time I'm playing 6 player fixed cards game on Rivertown Advanced Map. Settings, Balance Blitz Dice Rolls, Alliance is on, and 60 seconds per turn. This time I'm playing against 3 beginner rank players who are orange, purple and green, and even 2 intermediate rank players who are yellow and blue. How do you think, will I be tough enough to beat these half experienced rookies, or will they be able to bring the Grandmaster down? Hmm. We will see about that. In any case, wish me best of luck as always guys, I will definitely need it, keep your fingers crossed for me. Anyway, as you can see at first I was going for this region over here, who would have given me 3 extra troops for me if I had captured it. I specifically was going for that region because other players didn't have many troops in it at all, all of the territories were basically ones. And another reason why I decided to go for that region, is because I wanted to have a region on the right side of the map, as from the overall setup I predicted that more of the players will be going for the left side regions, meaning that it would be much easier for me to capture all of the right side regions rather than the left side regions, well if I ever gotten that opportunity of course. At first I didn't go for the bridge even though I could, because it's in the middle of the map, and I thought it will be the most wanted region by all of the players. But to my surprise nobody showed any intentions to go for it at all, even though it could have been captured by anyone so easily. It had ones in the territories. So since nobody went for it, I gladly captured it by myself, and started getting 3 extra troops. Plus I have just captured another region, the one I originally was going for firstly, so I get 3 another extra troops for it as well and that makes to get 6 extra troops in total and I'm considering it pretty good. I'm the first player to get 2 regions and I'm planning to expand even more. I specifically planning to get this region over here, as currently nobody is going for it seems, and my overall goal is to eventually capture all of the regions of the right side of the map if possible. So I just really hope that the purple player won't be going for it, as if he will then basically I can give up on my goal of capturing all of the regions of the right side anytime soon. I need to be the player who gets the most of the troops of the right side of the map if I want to ever capture all of the side regions. And yes, to my luck the purple player added some troops to different region, to the region which is on left side. That means I can go for this another region I was dreaming about. I'm planning to finish capturing it in the next turn and then I will be getting another 4 extra troops. So I will be getting 10 extra troops in total for holding regions, and plus some extra troops for having many territories as well. Like OMG, I will be getting like 16 or 17 troops. And if these players will be letting to hold all of the stuff I'll be having, then I will become very strong soon and be a potential threat to all of them. So then they will need to cooperate if they want any chances to win. But judging by the fact that most of the beginners are not very cooperative when it's needed against the strongest player, I'm going to win not so hard at all, if they let me hold a lot of regions. But another fact I know is that beginners like to attack others into any continents they can as well. So in order to safely hold regions, I will need to properly guard them. Or actually who knows, maybe I won't need to properly guard them at all, just to have my troops defensively inside my regions showing that I'm not going to attack them, and the same time not showing any possible threat. I mean I made an alliance with all of the players and a lot of low rank players tend to take the alliances too seriously. 
Well, I'm allied with everyone except the green player, he declined my alliance request, Savage. But if he will be making any of the problems for me, then I could safely take him out, right? As it doesn't seem he will ever be as strong as me. Well, unless the purple player would start attacking me, then I would have some problems for sure if they both would team up against me. But if the purple player won't attack me now, then later it can be way too late. But what in the world has happened over here guys? The orange player was holding that region and the blue player could have easily taken this one. So why he didn't capture it, but decided to take a region from the orange player instead? Hmm. That was strange. But I mean for some reasons he was attacking the orange player into that region from the beginning of the game as well. Maybe he wanted that region because it is like Australia which has only one border to guard to? I don't find any other explanation, as the orange player wasn't attacking him or doing something like that to make him mad. Well, since the blue player didn't want that region, I captured it by myself. I will be happy to get any unwanted extra regions, la la la. Anyways as you saw, I sent an alliance request for the green player, and he accepted this time. No beginner would refuse an alliance with the dominating player, la la la. And wow guys, is he attacking the purple player? Lol, that is so, so good. I'm already the strongest player and it even gives me more of the advantage when other players fight each other. Now I'm really starting to think that I might take all of the right side continents for real. I just really need to hope that the purple player got mad and will attack the green player. And if so, then my chances to win this game will become more than huge. Let's see what the purple player is up to guys. Alright, he added some troops to region on the other side of the map. And some troops to his old continent, will he attack the green player though? Wow, I didn't see that coming guys. How dare you to attack me purple, I'm the strongest player and only I have the right to hold all of these regions. Let's seek for some of the revenge guys. How about if I take the region he just captured? Hmm. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. To be honest, the purple player has made the right decision by attacking me into region. I'm not only the strongest player right now, but I'm holding multiple regions as well. If these players aren't going to team up against me, then I will become a real pain for all of them soon. So far the purple player was the only player to realize that. So I needed to calm him down a little bit. By taking a region from him, I showed the other players what is going to happen to them if they are going to mess up with me. I wanted to discourage them of possibly attacking me. And so far no other player has shown any intentions to attack me it seems. So I'm wondering about the purple player, if he continues to attack me, then I might need to take him out. I highly considering it, as why to keep an aggressive towards me player while I can totally afford taking him out. Plus I don't want that other players will follow his example and would start attacking me as well. I need to eliminate the possible threat as soon as possible, before it got even worse. And oh no, it seems the purple is attacking me again. Ha! Huh. In your face purple, the luck has finally favored me. I was so lucky to defend my region. I'm not going to show you any mercy and attack into your region as well. I need to show you and all of the players who is the boss. To show what is going to happen to them if they attack me as well. I think me attacking the purple player back, will discourage them of potentially messing with me. Also as you can see, I added even 18 troops to this region over here, as I needed to have some more troops there as well, I didn't want that either yellow or blue player would have taken over them by swiping me out. And to be honest I was really surprised that they didn't swipe me out from there when they totally could. I wouldn't have been able really to retaliate, and the game would have become balanced again, if they had swiped me out from these regions. So they really missed their opportunity, and I can dominate the game again. I'm so glad that we only have one smart player who is purple and who knows what to do to sustain the balance of the game. While others either being neutral, or helping me out to dominate, only purple knows what players must attack me while they still have an ability to, before it become way too late, before I become way too strong. 
so by seeing that the purple is the only player who knows what players must do to still win the game, I, as a dominating player should get rid of him firstly, as soon as possible. As he is the only player who attacks me, for everyone else it seems that's pretty much fine that I'm holding so many regions and getting very strong. And I'm really happy about it, lalalal. I especially like the green player, he took our alliance way too seriously. He is attacking purple and that helps me to become even stronger player. He is making sure that I will win this game easily and I cannot be more grateful to him. Alliances shouldn't matter much in the game, players should always do everything that is the best for the balance of the game. You shouldn't let anyone to become too strong, even if you have an alliance with him. Remember guys, you're playing this game to win, not to get the second place, right? Fixed cards is all about the balance of the game. Look at players troop counters and see if you should attack someone, also keep in mind how many troops the specific players get per turn. Maybe some player isn't looking that strong right now, but maybe he will become one soon, if you let him hold even 5 continents. And when one player is especially strong you should team up with other players to attack him and make him less powerful. You should forget all of the conflicts you had with each other and pay all of the attention to the strongest player. And while you attack the strongest player, you shouldn't attack into each other continents. Even if you easily can. It was a total mistake for the blue player to invade yellow when he captured second region. You should let each other hold continents and together grow strong, while attacking the dominating player of course. Otherwise there are pretty big odds that the dominating player will swipe all of you out soon. And by the way, for those who aren't familiar with my channel yet, my name is Champion Ever. And in this channel I'm sharing relevant risk global domination tips and tricks that will help you to increase your rank in no time. I upload my videos constantly, I try to make them short and informative but also entertaining at the same time. I'm currently Grandmaster and have over 1000 hours of experience which I want to share with you. Most people want to know how to win at risk. Are you one of them? If so, then what are you waiting for? Subscribe and start grinding those rank points right now. Drastically improve your gameplay by simply watching risk videos. And lol, the blue player just attacked the yellow player again. Odds what I will win is increasing by seconds. I already have the same number of troops as all of them combined, wait guys, no, actually I don't have the same number of troops as all of them combined, let me make a correction, I have way more troops than all of them combined. And just trying to get even a little bit more stronger before I decide to swipe all of them out. As I'm really wondering what the green player is going to do, maybe he will take both of my opponents yellow and blue out for me. I think that would be so much fun and hilarious to see, lalalal. He almost took the yellow player as you can see, so will he be trying to take the blue player out as well? Hmm. I can wait to see. How do you think guys? Will the green player finally betray me? Or will he stay the loyal ally? We will never find it out, because I'm going to betray himself firstly. It wouldn't be the smartest idea to wait and see what happens when I totally could take over all of right side of the map and totally deadlock them, making sure that I will win. Just look guys how amazing it will be. And advice to you green, never take alliances too seriously because this is that is going to happen to you. But actually I feel so bad by betraying the green player guys. He was such a good ally. Probably the best ally I have ever had. I feel so bad to hurt his feelings. But anyway, he didn't have any chances to win anyways even if I had let him to hold these regions, I was way too strong, so what he was expecting I don't know. And wow guys, I just received even 40 troops for holding all of that stuff, that is so much epic. I'm currently delaying to take both of the players out because both of them were such good allies. Well, the green player was better but still. In any case that was so much fun to have alliances with all of the players. That was so sweet of them by letting me hold multiple regions. Nobody was smart enough of them to realize that the player they should attack was me, well except for the purple player, but I dealt with him quickly and continued to dominate again. The blue player has just left the game, so I will take him first. 
I will show some appreciation for the green player by giving him the second place. He totally deserved it by being the best ally ever. Anyway, let me know guys in the comments section down below which of the maps, other than classic, you want to see next. The map which will get requested most of the times will be in one of my next videos. Subscribe to the channel pushing the notification bell so you won't miss them. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and had a good time watching it. Feel free to check out my other videos as well, by gaining more and more knowledge you will become so much better at risk.